I'm Patrick Smith, the owner of our Sardo Sheep Farms. Uh, our farm is uh, 10 miles south of Steinbach, 60 miles south uh, east of Winnipeg. I started the uh, operation here in 1974 and uh, we've been in sheep uh, continuously uh, since that time, uh, starting with uh, about 80 pure Suffolk ewes and today with a flock of uh, 2300 Rideau ewes lambing about 5,000 lambs a year. So our ewes are on an eight month lambing cycle, which means that they're lambing three times every two years. But our breeding cycle is every two weeks. So we have a, a lambing occurring every two weeks uh, during most of the year. From the beginning of our farming operation, we've uh, always attempted to manage on a fact-based uh, decisions. So the uh, the current systems that we use are, are based on the FarmWorks software and, uh, and the RFID uh, traceability uh, so systems. So one of the keys to uh, our operation is to minimize the amount of labor that's involved uh, with, with 2,300 ewes and, and 5,000 lambs in a year. It's just not uh, feasible to maintain animals that require extra attention. So our whole process has been around uh, developing a, a ewe flock which is self-sufficient. So our process has been from the very beginning, whenever we have a ewe that requires extra attention, that ewe will leave after the, uh, after the weaning. So this, this barn would be the beginning and the end of our operation. This is where the ewes are brought a day or two before lambing and they'll lamb in these pens. Uh, each one of these pens holds 72 ewes, so our group of 144 divided into two, and they'll lamb in these pens and from these pens the lambs will be moved out into the jugs with the ewe. So this barn is where our jugs are. The, the ewes come after lambing into here with their lambs and they'll spend one to three days in these pens. Um, they get tagged here, the uh, ewe gets checked to make sure she has adequate milk, the tails, lamb's tails get docked, and uh, then the ewes are moved from these jugs over into the eight pens. So now that we've moved the, the first 12 ewes into the, uh, the three eight pens, the next thing we'll do is tag 12 more ewes, and then those 12 ewes will move tomorrow into this eight pen. The idea of this pen is to allow the ewes and lambs to get to know each other in a smaller environment than they'll ultimately end up with. The pens are, are uh, eight feet wide, 24 feet long. So after four or five days, the lambs are moved from the eight pens, three groups of eight into these 24 pens. And again, the objective is to uh, have a larger group of uh, ewes that can get to know their lambs before they have to move outside. And, and in general, we keep the, the 24 groups together uh, until it's time for weaning. So in, they'll be in this barn for a month in the wintertime when we're busy lambing and for two months until weaning uh, in the summer when we're not as busy. Once they're in this pen, then uh, they have access to creep. So the, the creep feed is a free feed creep that only the lambs have access to and not the ewes. The purpose of that is to get the lambs familiar with uh, eating the, the feed before they get weaned from the mothers. So th these lambs are about to be weaned today. They're, uh, they're two months old and they'll weigh sort of 15 to 25 kilograms. So we move the ewes and their lambs from the lambing barn into the feeder barn. The ewes are familiar with coming into the feeder barn because as they were raised and every time they have a lamb, they always come into the same place. So this is the feeder barn where the lambs come when it, they're separated and it's time for them to uh, grow out. The barn is 380 feet long, uh, 80 feet wide. As you can see, a tall ceiling, tall enough to allow the uh, feed mill to drive down the center. And with a concrete floor, it's also the place where we can sort and, and uh, manage lambs. We do the weighing here, we did the weaning here. Uh, we'll do the vaccinations of the ewes a month before lambing in this barn. And really all the handling of the sheep where we have to handle them as individual animals is done in this barn. We move them into the uh, chute and onto the weigh scale in order to get their weaning weights. Using Bluetooth between the scale and the handheld, we get automatic recording of the, uh, uh, of the weight wi against the scan peg. At this stage, we separate the uh, ram lambs and the ewe lambs, so the ram lambs will now be in a group by themselves and the ewe lambs in a group by themselves so that uh, we don't end up with any accidental breeding uh, occurring later on. And also the rams are not chasing the ewe lambs around. 
So once we've separated the lambs and, and uh, weighed them, and we put the ewes into this uh, pen to dry out. The, uh, the ewes will be in here for four to five days, the first two days without water, and the uh, last three days they'll continue to have this dry feed, which is Timothy uh, hay. So a low nutrient uh, ration designed to keep them full, but help them to uh, dry up the milk. So these corrals are where ewes are moved uh, after they're weaned uh, or where, where new ewe lambs are moved uh, that are going to be ready to breed. The pens are 100 by 100 feet. The uh, feeding area is 8 feet of concrete with uh, 6 feet on the inside, 4 feet on the outside and with a, a small shelter just to uh, provide some protection from uh, heavy rain both for the feed and, and for the ewes. Each pen shares a pole barn to uh, provide uh, again shelter from the rain. We don't use straw in the corrals. Uh, we find that it, it soon gets uh, 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 into the uh, manure anyway so it doesn't seem to make much difference but it is relatively dry under the um, shelter and the corrals are, are uh, angled so that uh, most of the water is, uh, is draining to the back and, and out into the uh, pasture area. Seven of these corrals have access to uh, summer pasture and uh, so we can adjust that uh, based on uh, w w the condition of the pasture and the condition of the sheep. The feeding system is the same as everywhere else on the farm. They're feeding through the, uh, through the belting uh, into the feed and the feed is unloaded uh, along this, uh, this feed wall uh, typically every day and uh, raked up every day to uh, make sure that fresh feed is always uh, pushed into the feeding area. So our ration here is uh, a mixture of, uh, of haylage and typically second cut, first cut alfalfa uh, with, with some hay depending on the uh, quality of the alfalfa each year. The other element of our feed, but we use a liquid mineral and uh, that liquid mineral is a, uh, I think a much more effective way of providing minerals and supplements to the uh, animals. This is our composting area where we put dead animals. The, the compost is just manure from the uh, uh, farm with a bit of straw added into it. Within a month, a full-grown ewe will be composted into just a few residual bones. Uh, all the wool and everything will be decomposed. So when we move this pile out once a year uh, to spread on the, on the field, there's no trace of uh, any dead uh, sheep or, or bones. The other element of this that's important is we, we fence this off so that it doesn't attract the coyotes, it doesn't allow the dogs to dig around in it, and uh, it ensures that if we might have a, a disease issue, it's well isolated from the rest of the flock. So in our operation, uh, our management structure is the management group, and that group is 144 ewes put together after lambing. It's very important to uh, develop a standard way of doing each one of the activities. You know, since these activities are being redone over and over again uh, in the eight month cycle, it's important that we know uh, what we're gonna do, we know where the tools are, we know uh, how to, to do specific operations. Because everything is done the same way each year, each part of the cycle, uh, everyone who's uh, participating knows what to do and, and, uh, and therefore does it effectively. So people often ask, why, why are we doing the things we're doing the way we are? And I, I think what works for us is something where we can invest some capital so that we don't need the same number of people to manage the operation and we can get a return on that capital because of the uh, productivity of the sheep flock.